Yeah, we just got hit by this barge here. Oh my God. This is the scariest moment on the sailboat so far. got hit by a barge uh, a couple minutes ago. We departed Beaufort, South Carolina and were making our way through Georgia. Since the weather outside was not so good, we decided to do this part of the trip to the ICW. Enjoying the beautiful scenery as we get closer to the anchorage, today is going to be a short trip. We should arrive by early afternoon. Everything was going smoothly until. Yeah, we just got hit by this barge here. Oh my God. This bear just hit us. They just lost control. What happened was we were approaching a bridge. We saw on the AIS two barges on their way. We contacted them before going through and they agreed we had plenty of time to pass the bridge and wait for them to pass us once they came by. There were five other sailboats waiting on the side. We were the last one. The first barge passed us and we continued to wait for the next one. That's when I heard Julian say, grab your life jackets and come up quick. I could tell something was majorly wrong. The second one got caught with the wind and was coming towards the sailboats. The captain was contacted by radio that he was getting too close to the vessels. The sailboats in front were able to squeeze by. Since we were the last ones, there was no room for us to go. With our six foot keel, we ran aground. Seeing this massive piece of steel heading straight towards us and not being able to do anything to prevent it was gut wrenching. My heart dropped to the ground and the worst came to mind. All I cared about was keeping our baby safe. The middle of the barge hit us and pushed us further to the marsh. One of the captains then pushed the barge afterwards back in place. We searched for significant damage. Even though we didn't hear any cracking noise, we were concerned because it felt like Alma was getting a big push from the side. We ended up with a scratch on the new paint job, but we were grateful that our family was safe and our boat. Things could have turned different that day, we realized Alma is a tough girl. We called the Coast Guard, letting them know the situation. Yes, uh, we have a little incident here uh, with a barge. Uh, we got hit, and uh, our boat is disabled um, running around. Julian went to quickly assess the boat, making sure there was no major damage done or water coming in. Since we were so stuck, we tried to see if we can get in deeper water by also using our dinghy motor. It was a long shot, but it was worth a try. I'm gonna, I need you to get in the helm. And whenever I point that way, you're gonna start giving some throttle. We're in four, four feet of water right now. Give us some one throttle. Right. 1300. 13? Yeah. All right, 13 is good. You can see this is our mark. As soon as they contact the barge, we went all the way into 
to the shallow. We're completely out of his way. That's where we got hit, and the uh, bar just uh, pushes all the way to the grass. We wait. We been waiting on this place, uh, but the bar has got caught up with the with the wind on this area here, and it got pushed all the way to where we were, and uh, it hit us and pushed us basically just over the grass. You can see here we are not in the center of the channel at all. The channel is like right there. You can see some other boats are passing by. That's the marker right there. So we are sitting like right here, completely off the channel. That's the other marker. U.S. Coast Guard just contacted me by cell phone asking what happened, what was the story. I gave the best description as I could. I'm just so frustrated. Uh, just thankful it wasn't worse than what it could have been and hopefully we'll get out of the situation soon and anchor and get some rest because just crazy. A passing boat was nice enough to try to tow us out. We also put the sails up for extra power. Unfortunately, we were too stuck, so we continued to wait for sea tow. Waiting for sea tow. Because the first people tried to help, but then more. We're too stuck. Okay, so basically his recommendation was for you guys to sit tight. That way it does no damages to your boat. Have me run your anchor out to the channel a little ways. Uh, that way you're anchored, you're pulled tight. That way whenever you start to float, you can just wrench yourself in with the anchor out towards the channel. Right. Uh, and then you can go on from there. We waited for high tide, and in the early morning we left, happy that our sailboat was floating again. After inspecting our sailboat, there was no major damage done. Alma was good to go. We made it to the anchorage that was only three miles away and dropped the hook. We were happy to be safe and sound on our floating home. We finally dropped a hook in Georgia, here in Georgia. Uh, it's a little cold today. Um, the day after we got hit by a barge. Pretty horrible experience, if you ask me. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but uh, just to be right in front of that massive piece of steel and you see approaching to you so far, it was pretty scary. It may not have seemed like much, but when you come face to face with such a huge barge heading straight towards your sailboat, you and your family, and there's nothing you can do about it, that moment's an indescribable type of fear. And to be honest, it makes us question a lot of things. Still a little defeated after that, but we'll see what happens. But for now, we're going to enjoy what's right in front of us, keeping our minds off the fear and doing our best to enjoy this peaceful moment. So this is what I wanted to see when we started the cruise in life. Like, going to a place like this when there's just nothing in nature and enjoy a beautiful sunset like this. We need to remember that having fears are normal and that bravery is not the lack of fear but the ability to move forward in spite of it. We will learn and grow from this and continue to do what's best for our family.
If you want ad-free, early release videos, consider becoming a patron. Every bit goes a long way. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's a fast and free way to help us out.